on this episode. Oh, bonnet open! SR Nimar Day! Sportsland Yamanashi, and I'm here in the S15 Sylvia, and it sucks. It's loud. There's two reasons we're here today. The first is to sign up for this event, Yamanashi Drift Night. It's a nighttime drift meeting held at this track. The second reason is just because I want to drive. This is just a normal track day at Sportsland Yamanashi with a lot of the regulars who come here. If you've never seen this track on the videos before, it's a very tight mini circuit with a lot of elevation changes in the mountains of Yamanashi. Along with Gunsai that you saw a couple of videos ago, this is probably one of the most toge style tracks. Track days aren't held that often here at Sportsland Yamanashi, so I try and come out when I can. And I really like it here, it has a real uh, locals only sort of feeling, even though everyone's really nice. Alrighty, let's take it out and see what it feels like. So today we've got the 360 cam outside, so you get that lovely outside view. <laughs> see, like that you can, we can look in all directions, which is kind of good. 360 cam always looks good on narrow courses because of the uh, sense of speed. Wipers? What the hell? I better check that just in case. That's kind of funny, but that might mean that I went over a bump and hit the loom. In the interest of education, I'm gonna, we're both gonna learn something here today. So normally in the S13, I think S14, there's a wiring loom that runs under there and the tire can hit it and wear through it. And one of the symptoms of that is that it causes the wipers to come on. But uh, what I forgot was the 360 cam mount. Let's turn that off. The 360 cam mount is in the way of the wipers. I hit the wipers by mistake, which happens sometimes. And, uh, whoa, there you go, okay. <laughs> and they reset. So, uh, yeah, no problem. Let's just uh, check them again. Yep. There you go. That actually happens more than I'd like to admit. Alright, I just uh, got my phone and found the front wiper. It's second row, last one. Where is it? Remember in the Matrix when, like, Trinity says, oh, I need instructions for a helicopter and they send it to him. It's like that. Show me the fuse panel for a 2001 S15 Sylvia. There we go, no problem. It's fine. This stuff. Ah, I... He just told me to wait for the next uh, session. So the way it works here today is there's a beginner session for like 10, I think it's like 10 minutes, a middle class for 10 minutes, and then it's 40 minutes free. But they do kind of wave people in if they've been out there for a while just to let other people out. Because I think there's like a limit of a certain amount of cars on track or something. Too much. I'm gonna cut the entire 
getting caught up. because he's obviously faster than me. this car but you know it's still fun to drive a slow car fast these events are run by former D1 Grand Prix champion Yoichi Imamura and there's a few other famous old-school drivers who come here too like champ Yamashita in his red JZX100 which looks very nice and uh, Yasuyuki Kazama who is out here this weekend in a naturally aspirated S15 Silvia and he's still somehow driving faster than a lot of the other drivers here. Joyroad? Joyroad. Joyroad. Sport RX6. Oh, bonnet open! This is what this maniac is driving today. SR <laughs> Normal. Normal. Stuck. まあ、シルビアシリーズの中で一番どうだろう、車がしっかりしてる。しっかり。しっかりしてる。ノーマルはやっぱ少し Listen to him. Okay? Skill up. It's not, not this. It's this. This is the important. You because this you can break. This you can you know you can sell it. It costs money. This you keep forever. Do the motor so put it. about low power is you have to work for it but at the same time it's not fun because you have to work for it because that night event is coming up in less than a couple of months I thought I should probably bring out the s15 and see how it drives here at uh, this track but it sucks shortest version of the story is when the previous owner blew the engine and it got replaced with a low mile SR20 they just took the turbo and turbo manifold uh, Tomei turbo and turbo manifold just stuck it on the engine and left it it doesn't have a tuned ECU I thought maybe it'll be okay 
but it just doesn't make good boost below like five and a half thousand RPM. I think this is gonna be the last time I drive the car with this setup. All right, last session. I didn't change the tires because they still have a bit of meat on them. If I put a fresh pair on, I'd probably get a little bit of a flat spot and driving back in the expressway, the flat spot is not fun. Because it just goes like that. By the way, if you've been watching the video this long and you like it and you're not subscribed, why not hit that subscribe button like I'm gonna hit this first corner? A Nissan Crew, which is uh, sort of the uh, Nissan version of the Crown Comfort, like a taxi. Even the front guard, so this is a front guard off an actual taxi. I think it's a countryside one, Totska, like Totska Taxi. It's the same wheels as me, the GTR wheels and Sylvia brakes. for a while. Uh, they don't make them anymore, I don't think. But it was a Nissan's version of the Crown Comfort, like the taxi you see everywhere. I can't remember what engine they came with factory, but I have seen them with SR20 like that, also RB20 and even an RB26. Here's another unique drift car, the Suzuki Carry K truck. And uh, yeah, look, it, it does go through tires. Hey, there's another one here too. Uh, this is a Mazda Scrum, but it's uh, very similar to a Suzuki Carry. I mean, it's basically a Suzuki Carry just rebadged as a Mazda. There you go, the convenient thing of a K-truck, you can just put all your tools in the back. On the way home now, I've got to stop at the convenience store for some snacks and whatnot. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Also, like these people here, these are my tier 3 subs over on Patreon. Join the Patreon, you get to see the videos early and uh, other various benefits. Here's some more videos for you to watch, and as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.